Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video and this time it's a little handheld and I mean a tiny tiny handheld from Team U. Now this was just under £10, in fact it was £9.49 and it is tiny. Ooh. I was actually quite surprised when I got it just how tiny this is. And it is just an 8 in 1, so there's only 8 games on here. But is it worth that £9.49? That is the question, isn't it? I mean, aesthetically, the box um, shows the machine on the front there, as you can see. And it looks pretty good. And I'll tell you what, I've had quite a lot of handhelds from Team U now, more some brick games, mind. But it's been a good experience, to be fair. So, yeah, what will you get with this tiny, tiny little handheld that they call a retro handheld game console? Hmm. Very generic name. But, yeah, it looks a bit like a, uh, a Switch in a way, although it's pink and, uh, well, it's a baby blue. But yeah, there you go, guys. You can see on the front here, video games, 8-bit, 8 in 1. So yeah, you don't get a lot here, guys. You can probably tell by my fingers just how small this box actually is. And they claim it's got a built-in high-fidelity speaker. Hmm. But yeah, got a great dirty sticker there covering it with uh, some info on it. Yeah, otherwise on the sides and everything, big barcode there. Nothing much on the sides or the top or anything. But on the back, here we go. Uh, turn it around the right way, might help. Uh, yeah, it lists the games that are on here. So let's have a look at some of these cubbins here first. So, obviously a retro handheld games console. Small and easy to carry, that's for blinking show. A <laughs> 1.8. TFT LCD screen, 8 bit bits video game, games, so I get it right, 8 bit video games, built in high fidelity speakers, uses 3 times AAA, made in China, oh I could never have guessed that, eh? so yeah here's the games guys that are on here, so you got Abscondi, Garden War, Bolt Action, Pinball, Memory Test, Golden Bird, Apple Chess, Weird, and a Snowball. So yeah, only the eight games on this one, guys. Not 400 in one and all that. So yeah, interesting little system. But yeah, shall we uh, unbox it? Look, you've got to turn it around the other way again. So it's opposite sides, guys. Well, upside down on... The reverse when you turn it round or on the front when you turn it right you know what i mean that's quite strange that they do that but yeah let's unbox it shall we and see what we get in here Ooh. well i can tell you now the box is a little bit uh, flimsy <laughs> oh there we go we're in brilliant okay there we go so that's what you see when you open the box there's the unit itself let's get that out and put him aside a minute. Anything in there? Oh, there just appear to be. Oh, there we've got a piece of paper. So, right, that's empty. There we go. You can see there it's empty. Cool. So we'll chuck him out of the way. And this is literally <laughs> the tiniest little instruction sheet in the world. Yeah, definite toilet paper, this one. Just basically tells you the buttons and that it takes three triple A's and that is it not even anything on the back wow that's got to be the crappiest bit of instructions I've ever seen oh dear 
But yes, here is the unit itself. He says holding it because it's so freaking tiny. But yeah, aesthetically, I mean, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah, not bad at all. The buttons feel, yeah, like they've got a bit of nice press to them. D-pad feels not too bad. A bit of dirt there. Let's get that off. He says trying to get it off. Yeah, not too bad at all. Oh, that seems to be an on and off button there on the bottom. I'm going to keep focusing out here because it's so tiny. I'm having to, you know, pull in the view kind of. But yeah, that appears to be it. Just the on and off button. There on the sides. Yeah, nothing else. Bloody screw in the back again. Oh, God, all the thinking battery covers with screws in. I hate them, you know I do. And yeah, at the front, we have obviously the directional. I presume one of these is sound. Oh yeah, volume, there you go. So it'll be the three or four settings again. No doubt. No rocker wheel or anything. And you've got start, reset, A and B. And the speaker down there, which is mono, of course. So yeah, very interesting little unit. But, you know, for, for nearly £10, guys, you know, you might have seen my uh, last handheld video where I show off the Morrison's 10 pounder and on that you get over 100 games so 108 in fact so yeah hmm well the quality of these games be better that is the question what does your nine pound 49 get you eh hmm but i want to do a little comparison first before we jump on it and actually play this thing you know i've got to stick some batteries in it and all that anyway so let's do a little comparison shall we Here is a good example, guys, of how big this is. Uh, yeah, good comparison. Uh, this is my uh, other half's blue light card. So it's a credit card size. And you can see, <laughs> they're nearly the same size, guys. So yeah, this little unit is the size of a credit card. Wow, that is small. And then you think you've got this big old border around the unit on top of it all. So that tiny little screen is literally, you know, huh, tiny. It is literally tiny, tiny, tiny. Not quite as tiny as some of the other units I've shown on my channel, but tiny. Yeah, fantastic little thing, the looking thing. But yes, now we need to find out, oh, how does it play? So yeah, I'm going to adjust myself, guys, and we're going to take a look at the eight games. As there's only eight, I'm sure we can look at them all right back in a sec. Right, here we go then, guys. Here we go. We can take a better look at this little thing. Yeah, it is a pretty smart-looking little handheld. But, like I said, for nearly a tenner, you can get a hell of a lot more games on another unit, can't you? Even if you buy a sup or a uh, orb, you know, they're all about the same kind of price, even that Morrison handheld, of course. And um, yeah, you get a lot more games for a tenner, but are the eight included games really, really good or something? You know, are they awesome or something? Well, well, shall we find out, shall we, by turning this thing on and trying it out? Here we go. So it's the usual kind of menu here. As you can see, guys, eight in one. There you go. Ball action, abscondi, golden bird, memory test. Then you have garden more, pinball, apple chess, and snowball. I'll tell you one thing already, guys. This is a gorgeous screen in here. And it stays there no matter what angle you put it at. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. What a fantastic screen in this thing. Well, let's go to the beginning with that bolt action. Let's see, there we go, that's how you start, cool. Let's see what this does then. Bolt action. Ah, it's that kind of game, guys, here we go. How do we start? All oh, right, it just starts itself, does it? It's a shoot 'em up, guys. And it looks pretty cool, to be fair. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. 
I mean, I've got it on a low setting. We will take it um, up a notch, shall we see, with the music. Yeah, this is on low, or medium, I think, probably. But we will take a look at the other settings. Right, let's press it now. So that must be... Yeah, I presume that's the highest setting. There you go. Yeah, just the three guys. Just the three on this one, not four like on the uh, Morrison's handheld. But I have to say, I'm enjoying this game. I like it. It is very, very fun. Very basic, but very fun. And the buttons actually feel very, very nice indeed. I'm very surprised about that. Very surprised. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little game, this one. Yeah, enjoying this. Very nice indeed. Uh, I keep dying, but it's cool. Yeah, right, let's uh, press that reset button then, shall we? Here we go. Is that it? I believe that's it. No? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, bolt action. Pretty cool game. Let's go down to Abscondi. <laughs> We've come across this one before, guys, on the orb machines. Yeah, let's see how it plays on here. Again, that music's pretty damn good. For what it is. Right, okay, so here we go. So this is the one where you're basically trying to collect these things here without dying as you go through what is almost like a maze. So yeah, let's go through here. You've got, you've got to be careful when you go through there, not to go when they're uh, hmm, spinning around because they'll chop you to pieces, probably. There we go, another one. Yeah, this is pretty cool as well. I say, I remember this game from the old machines, so no big surprise there. Of course, oh, there's something coming through that, killing me. Look, you see that? Oh, I didn't even know that was there at first. Wow. I don't think that door opens until you've collected all the gubbins. What are you going to do now? Oh, you bugger. Stop. Can I go through? Yes, I can. Cool. And then around here. Here we go. Are you going to spin on me, probably? Oh, right, okay. That seemed to kill me. Ah, that's interesting then. Let's give it one more go. Yeah, not too sure why I died there. I thought I avoided the blades, but maybe not. There we go, they're spinning again. Come on, stop it, you buggers. There we go. Can I get through? Yeah. I'm going to give it one more go here. Get all of them. And see what that does then, eh? Hmm. Oh, that thing comes down then. Oh, yeah. Oh, it got me again, guys. I just want to get out. I'm going to die before I do anything. That's going to spin around again in a sec. Oh, yeah, look, I've nearly lost all my life, guys. Nearly. And it's a pretty cool game. Oh, I'm nearly dead, which is not good. Ah, it got me just before I got the last one. Ah, dearie me, eh? But, yeah, not a bad game. Right, let's reset. Go down to Golden Bird. Let's see what this one is. Hmm. This looks kind of strange. Looks familiar again, guys. So I bet these are all on the old machines. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Well, it's one of those guys. Moves very slow, actually. I don't know if you can get him to go faster or what. Ah, but it seems to be something to do with these cages, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Can we do anything? Can we shoot or anything? No, we can't. Okay, so I'll go back down. Because there's a couple of cages there. Oh my god, it, this one goes very slow. So not exactly uh, the biggest thrill. 
And these enemies, I don't know, they can't seem to jump out of their way or anything. I'll go back up here. Yeah, this is a weird, weird game. I mean, I get it. You're supposed to uh, free all the golden birds, aren't you? That's, that's pretty obvious. But at the same time, you've got to avoid these enemies and you've got no way of jumping over them or doing anything with them. So, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, just keep getting those uh, cages or whatever the hell they're meant to be. I presume they're cages. Oh, look, that one's going faster, look. He's trying to get me there. Oh dear. Let's get up there quick. Oh no, I'm going to get caught. Oh, he got me. The swine got me. Ugh. Okay then. At least you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. You do get to uh, carry on from where you left off. And I'll get all the birds again. You know what I mean. Right, okay, so we've got to get down the bottom there, haven't we, and get those, uh, those ones down there. So let's try and do that. Ah, uh, no, they're coming to get me again. The swines, and you can actually go up that one as well, look. Up the ladder at the top there, so you must have another level somewhere. Right, okay, here we go. I'll wait for him to go down there, and then we can go down and get those last two. Let's see. Uh, come on, get under there. That's it. And that one. Yeah, so we've got all them. Oh, that seems to be the end of the level. Ah, I thought you'd have to go up that ladder. So yeah, it, it's a pretty cool game again, guys. Um, a bit slow moving, but I suppose that's the point. Um, because they get faster and you don't. Ooh, there we go. Right, okay, let's move on. So yeah. That was pretty cool. I like that golden bird. Right, here we go, guys, with memory test. Let's see what this one is. Oh, I think I know what this is already, guys. It's one of them ones where you match the icons, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's some cherries or something. Didn't get the right one there. Uh, go up here. No. Oh, dear. What we got there then? Oh, you bugger. Oh, here we go. I think that was the one that was here or something. I think uh, there, was it? No, it wasn't. Maybe it was up here. No, that was the cherries. Hmm. Not doing very well, guys, are I? Not at all. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, there's the car, look. Hmm. Was that here? No. Oh, yes, it was. Good. Uh, that one? No. But yeah, you get the drift, guys, of what this is, don't you? There we go. Oh, I thought that was the cherries as well. Ah, it's below. Look. There we go. There they are. And what have we got here? Oh, wasn't that up there somewhere? Oh, game over. Oh, you bugger. Hmm. So, how do we play again then? So look. Oh, no, that won't do it, guys. It looks like we've literally got to press reset. It seems to be still playing, though, look. Ah, it's not turning anything, though. Right, okay, so it's not playing. Yeah, that is very odd. You can't seem to restart the game, can you? No, it's just gone. Right, reset, there we go. Yeah, oh, well, that was um, something. It was quite fun. I just don't get why you can't carry on playing. That's very annoying. Right, it goes back up to number one every time on the menu, which is mm, a drag. Right, so we had memory test, yep, yeah, now we're down to Garden War. I presume that this is kind of like plants versus zombies or something, you know what I mean? Um, let's see. Is it what I think it is? Let's find out, shall we? Stage one, here we go. Oh, no, it's not at all, no. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> it's like uh, Space Invaders and things like that. Although they're flying all over the shop. They're not just uh, at the top. They're more like Gallagher. But yeah, that's not bad. I like that. Yeah, I don't mind that at all, guys. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, how come I died? Right, okay. 
do anything else with the buttons? No, you can't. No. You've got to be quite precise here. And you can't move very fast. Yeah, in general, this is quite a cool game. I quite like this. Like I said, it's very much like Galaga. And games of that elk. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty cool for what it is. These are all very much like Flash games again. You know, they, they, they really are. They're that type of, of thing again. And so, yeah, the quality doesn't exactly spill out, does it? But as long as they're quite fun, that's all right. I keep dying. But, yeah, let's move on. Ugh, back here again. Right, so that was Garden Wall. Let's have a look at Pinball. Now, that could be interesting. It could be absolutely awful, couldn't it? There we go. Let's see. I love a good pinball game. A good one. We're going to start here now. Oh yes, here we go. Look, doesn't appear to be any music here. All oh, right, okay. So it's this. It's the A button and your directional. Okay. Well, it appears to be, you know, a pinball game. You know, you know, not too bad. No music, which I find a bit strange. Got plenty of sound effects, but no music. That's a shame. Oh, no music. We all like a little bit of music. Alright, okay, so I died. Yeah. So do I have to press yeah, start again, is it? No, that's paused it. Okay then. Alright, okay, it just does it itself. That's a bit odd that it's the same button to fire the ball as the paddle, but I suppose I've got limited buttons here, isn't there? Yeah, very limited buttons indeed. But yeah, I mean, it's a pinball game. It does what it's meant to, I suppose. And it's, uh, you know, you can get a lot worse. You can get a hell of a lot better. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right for what it is. Come on then, get down there, you bugger. Mm, up we go, yeah, but isn't too bad guys, I have to say, not too bad at all, but yeah, let's move on, we don't want to sit here watching a pinball game forever, do we, that's for sure, <sighs> here we go again, another menu, yeah, very annoying guys that it goes uh, right back to the beginning, right, we're on to the last two games guys, now, Apple Chess, this just sounds boring let's say that boring uh, well let's see i might be wrong oh dear god yeah this looks boring already doesn't it i mean i have no idea what i'm doing here um but i have no idea what am i supposed to be doing here um ah right okay uh not too sure guys if i'm doing the right thing here or not it appears to be the B button. That I, I have no idea. All oh, right, okay. Uh, something's happened. Not sure what, but I've turned it all red. But yeah, I don't know. Ah, right, they had their turn. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I I really don't know, guys, what I'm doing here. I can't put it there. Can I put it here? No. Not going to let me put it there either. I'm like, okay then. So am I supposed to go over here? Uh, yeah, it appears so. Right, okay, so have I turned that red? Yes, I have. Okay. Hmm. So I, I, I think that I'm doing all right. Who, who bloody knows, eh? This, this is a very weird... Um, Weird thing. Um, there we go. Done it again. It, it doesn't seem to be chess to me. But it's, it's more like checkers or something, I think. But yeah, um, I can tell you what it is. It's boring. There we go. We'll come out of that. Because it's boring. Um, yeah, we're down to the last one now. Come on, let's go back right the way through. 
Oh, now this is the one I remember again, guys. Um, very well from the old machines. So let's go with Snowball. And right, this is pretty straightforward. You use one Snowball to knock the other Snowballs into the holes like that. And like that. Cool. Then it gets harder, of course. And you've got to get it kind of like ooh, there, I believe. And then you go around. It's like move box, basically. That's what it is, like move box. Which you see on many, many handhelds, of course. Move it right up there, that's it. And then we'll go back here, up there. I have to say guys, I'm very, very impressed with the screen on this thing. I think it's actually quite awesome. Uh, the screen, yeah, it's got to be like the best part here. It really has. It's pretty damn cool. Gorgeous looking thing. Um, you're probably going to get some fun out of the games. I mean, they're not earth shattering or anything. And uh, you can certainly buy a hell of a lot more games on other systems. You know, like the Morrison's system. But, you know, for £9.49, it's alright, guys. It's alright. It's nice, little, and very portable indeed. So, yeah, you can't really complain too much, can you? And, um, yeah, it's just the fact that you can get so much more for your money. Well, there you go guys, that was another very fun game. So yeah, all in all guys, this little unit has some fun games on it. I can imagine that if you uh, actually worked out the rules to the apple chess or whatever the bloody hell they call it, um, it could be quite good. But, I mean, bolt action, very, very fun. Scondi, very fun. Golden Bird was really, really fun, even though it was a bit slow. Yeah, the memory test we just spoke about. Uh, Garden Warfare, again, very fun. Because they're shooting ups, they're fun, these these uh, type of games. Uh, pinball was alright. Apple Chess, yeah, once you get used to it and work out what the hell you're actually really doing. And Snowball, very, very fun. So yeah, right. Okay then, guys, let's lay it all out and I'll give you my final thoughts. Well guys, there it is, all laid out again. What little there is of it, a box, a uh, very weird and uh, crappy instruction book. And um, yeah, the unit itself, I mean, that is all you get, um, which is fair enough. It's just a little cheap handheld. Uh, there are a lot of pros and uh, cons here, guys. Now, we'll look at the cons first, because what worries me more than anything about this one, and hence why, you know, let me buy this stuff so that you don't waste your money. Is that even on Team U, you can get the same type of handheld as the Morrison's one, where you have over 100 games, you have 400, 300, oh, it just goes on and on. There's so many different handhelds out there for the same price range, about a tenner. Obviously, this one was 9.49. Now, yeah, that's what worries me, guys, that you're going to go along, you're going to pick one of these up um, for nearly a tenner, and you've got eight games there, um, and they're going to get old very, very fast, aren't they? Yes, uh, you know, a, a tenner's, you know, oh, it's not a lot of money, I get that, I really do, but when you can buy another unit which has the same kind of flash-like games on it, and you get hundreds of games, why would you buy this? It just doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, aesthetically, it's fantastic, and for a collector like myself who collects these oddball systems, it's fantastic because the look of it is very, very smart. I do like that. But, um, yeah, for somebody who wants to seriously play this thing and not just collect them, uh, there's a lot of better options out there. The one thing I was very, very, very impressed with was that screen in it, guys. That screen is beautiful. That is a very big, uh, yeah, pro. 
Wow, that is uh, quite impressive on one of these. And then another pro is the buttons. The buttons feel fantastic. They're nice and clicky. They've got some travel. They are actually really, really lovely to use. Uh, another <laughs> another pro is the size, guys. I know it sounds absolutely mental, but um, yeah, you can sling this in any pocket, can't you? I mean, that is so tiny, you can sling it in the pocket. But in a way, it's a bit of a con at the same time. Pros and cons and all that, guys. And um, because the screen is so small that on some of the games, it's very difficult to see what you're actually doing. But for portability, that is absolutely fantastic. <sighs> so, in general, guys, what I say to you is, um, and I've got to be honest here, um, don't bother with it. Because the pros do not outweigh the cons. At the end of the day, it's as simple as this, guys. You can get a hell of a lot more for your £10, even on TeamU itself, by just buying a different handheld that has a hell of a lot more games in it. You're still going to get the same old bloody thing with the volume where you've only got so many settings and you can't turn it down, you can't play it at night and all that. You've got no headphone jack where you can you know, at least listen to it yourself, but you got none of that, guys. It's a cheap little handheld. But for your 10 quid, you can get a lot better, even on Team U. So, yeah, this is one for the collectors, guys. If you collect these oddball systems, that'll be for you. But anybody else, yeah, stay clear, guys. Stay clear of it. It is just not value for money when you weigh it up against all those other machines that you can get on Wish. Uh, Banggood, AliExpress, eBay even, and Amazon even. Um, yeah, you, you can just get a lot more for your money. There you go, I was but honest as I could possibly be. And uh, yeah, let me know below, guys, what your thoughts are on this little handheld from TeamU. Are you interested in picking it up? Does it do, you know, float your boat? Uh, <laughs> or are you a bit on the fence with it? Are you completely against it? Because you know that you can get a hell of a lot more for your tenner. Yeah, let me know below, guys, what you think. I love reading your comments, you know I do. So, yeah, and with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And, of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, do you love all this retroness and emulation? Because if you do, I've got a fantastic group for you over on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles Fan Group. And we have nearly 4,000 members, guys. You've got plenty of people to banter with. We also have a ton of content from system unboxings, system reviews, emulation performance and tech help videos and a whole lot more. We also have the world's greatest admin team ever that are there for you 24-7. So yes, guys, if you love all that, it floats your boat, then head below. There's a link there. We'd love to see you. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming from the dawn of gaming with pong machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. Again, ever-growing member base, fantastic admin team, and tons of content, again, because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day including myself of course so yeah just a ton of content and loads of bantering to be done so yeah again link below if you're interested come over we'd love to see you there as well and finally guys i have my channel membership for as little as 99 pence a month you can become a member of the uk crap family this will give you access to the members only videos it will also get you a badge next to your name which changes color every month and lets everybody know that you are a member of the UK crowd family. So yes, guys, if you're interested, there is other tiers with other perks attached. All you've got to do is find that join button, come over and take a look and see what you think. Right, and with that, guys, I'm going to say a bit of then. Cheers and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.